Um, it is Martina. Um, it is 6.14. Uh, Carolyn is not up yet. <sighs> so I wanted to share with you, um, about my day yesterday without the nurse. She, um, quit pretty much, um... Trent, my husband, called her in the morning and was like, like, what happened? What's going on? And she basically told him the story about how, she said, the dog, the dog, my dog, my puppy, came at her. Yes, this big fluff ball of a teddy bear is so vicious. Look at her vicious face. So vicious. This is literally what she does all day. She's a big, giant fluff ball of a teddy bear. And she was scared of her. Yes, Shiva can be scary. She can look scary. Just because she's a pit bull. Pit bulls are the most misunderstood dogs ever. People used to use them as nanny dogs. They used to have pit bulls watch their children which is why pit bulls are so so good with children they love babies my pit bull was a rescue she was abused but she is the most loving lovey dovey ubby teddy bear dog i've ever met she doesn't act like a pit bull She's a very bad guard dog because she loves everybody that walks in the house. <sighs> and she is just, oh, she's a really good dog. Um, if someone comes up to her house, she'll like growl a little bit just to let me know that somebody's here. But other than that, she's just like, Okay, someone's coming in the house now. Mommy's letting them in the house. They must be fine. Um, she'll go up to you. So you can pet her. She needs to sniff you first because that's a dog's instinct. Um, but she's not a bad dog. She's never hurt anybody on purpose. Sometimes she'll whack me in the face with her tail, but it's not on purpose. Um, she would never purposely hurt anybody um she's just a very good dog you know she's just it's just a little teddy bear and she's only a baby you know she's only three years old and so i don't understand and it was so weird because usually she will like bark and growl for a little bit just to let me know someone's here but she didn't do that when lisa came lisa came inside she ran up to lisa to sniff her and lisa was like and i said it's okay she's just sniffing you and she was wagging her tail didn't look mad or didn't look like she didn't like lisa she was just sniffing her and then she like was like rubbing her head against her leg and lisa was like like scared of her or something and um and she's like i don't feel comfortable martina and i was like what do you mean she told me that she didn't feel comfortable watching her or um having to um she didn't want to deal with the dog during the day before she came here she had texted me she said i'm just gonna be upfront with you i don't feel comfortable um with Having to take care of the dog and Carolyn, or having to deal with the dog while I'm watching Carolyn, and then, and then I was like, "Oh, you don't have to." I said, "I said once you come, I will have Shiva come to the bedroom with me, and then when Trent wakes up, she'll either stay in the bedroom with me, or she'll go into her Trenton's office, and she'll be in Trenton's office all day. I'll put I'll put her toys in her bed in there, and then she'll be in Trenton's office all day, so you won't even have to deal with her at all." You won't even have to see her throughout the day. I'll just bring her out 
here when you leave. Like, you won't have to deal with her at all or see her at all during the day. And so she goes, I don't know, I still don't feel comfortable because if she turns on you um, and she hurts me or Carolyn, then I can lose my job. And I was like, we've had the dog for three years. She's literally the biggest teddy bear. She would not hurt a fly. Like, now she has, now she has, that's her snoring, now she does have dog instincts, um, she does have dog instincts, so, you know, she sees a cat, she's gonna run after it, she sees a rabbit or a squirrel, she's gonna run after it, because it's a game to her, I don't think if she caught a cat i don't think she would like try to kill it or anything because cats do fight back um she has killed a bunny before which was my mom's bunny but um the bunny was in my mom's yard and she doesn't know what they do she doesn't know how she doesn't know if it's vicious or if it's gonna hurt anybody so she decided to tried to kill it because she was trying to protect my mom because she didn't realize that my mom had a bunny because she was like whoa there's something in Nana's yard I want I need to protect her so I'm gonna kill this thing because I don't know if it's gonna hurt Nana or not so she was trying to protect my mom my dog if something goes in um in her range of sight or is by her she's gonna protect herself and the person she's with whether it's me Trent my mom somebody else she's gonna try to protect that person so if something comes in the range of where it can run and get me or the person that's with her she's gonna kill it so she can protect you but if it's a person she won't if it's an animal, she will because she knows that things that are smaller than her, she can she can control that. Dog's instincts. It's not her fault. If it's a person, something that's bigger than her, she won't do anything. She'll be like, oh a person. It can it can pet me. Let me pet me, pet me, pet me. Um if it's a baby or a child, she loves kids. But she loves children. She loves my um ne my, my nephew Noah. He, he um he watched their family. Uh, excuse me, Heather and Sean and Noah watched Shiva for I think it was like a month when me and Trent went on a cruise um before I got pregnant and um Noah um. He, uh, he goes, Shiva, sit. And Shiva will sit. And he, and if Shiva is getting, an, if he, if she's annoying Noah, when she's like licking him or you know, trying to play with him, she'll be like, he'll be like, Shiva, stop. And Shiva will stop. So he, you know, <laughs> he got very demanding with Shiva. And he, he loved it. But anyways. Um, so... She, um, so anyway, so, I think Carolyn's awake. So, she, um, so she was like, Martina, I really don't, and I was like, I have nowhere to put her today. I can try to, try to board her tomorrow, maybe, or find a doggy, um, a doggy daycare for her, but I have nowhere to put her in, during the day right now. And I said, so, I, I don't know what you want me to do. And she goes, I'm going to have to leave. What? Leave? I'm tired. It's 4.30 in the morning. I'm ready to go to bed. We don't have a night nurse. I stay up all night. 
because Trent has to work in the morning, so he goes to bed at a reasonable time. I take a nap before he goes to bed, but still... I'm tired. I take like maybe a three to four hour nap before Trent um, wakes me up to, for him to go to bed and me to get up to watch Carolyn until 4.30 until, um, until Lisa comes. That's when Lisa comes is 4.30. And by that time I get pretty tired. And so I'm like, like, I'm ready to go to bed, girl. I'm like, I don't know what you think. <laughs> But, like, I'm ready to go to bed, and, like, she just, so she was, like, she was, like, I'm gonna have to leave, and I'm, like, and she's, like, it's nothing personal, and she's, like, I hate to say this, and I hate to leave you like this, and she, like, started, her eyes started watering and whatever, which wasn't, like, super insincere, but I was, like, I was, like, if you want me to put her outside, I can put her outside, and she can stay outside, and she goes, I just, I don't trust her. I don't trust her. I'm like, I'm like, but you won't even have to see her. And she goes, I don't trust it, Martina. I don't trust it. I don't trust her not, not to hurt Carolyn. I'm like, she has no interest in Carolyn and Carolyn has no interest in her. I said all weekend, she sniffed Carolyn in the morning, sniffed her foot, and then walked away and either came sat on the couch or looked out the window. And then she walks around the house a couple times and just minds her own business. Carolyn does the same thing. She goes, she, Carolyn will be like, oh, something wet touched my foot, whatever. Carolyn has no interest in the freaking dog and the dog doesn't have any interest in Carolyn at all either. They don't have any interest in each other at all. I could see her kind of being afraid of Shiva, and that's fine. We can put her in Trent's office, or we can put her outside. Dogs can't open sliding doors, which is our back door is a sliding door. Dog can't open a sliding door. So, she'll be safe, you know, like... There's just different things. There's a different way she could have handled it. There's a different way. I guess I could have handled it differently too. You know, suggesting different things that I could have done. Um, but she was not willing to cooperate. And she was like crying. And she was like, I'm going to have to leave. I just don't feel comfortable. And then my, when Trent called her, she goes, the dog came at me. No, it didn't. The dog came. The dog ran to you. And sniffed you. The dog came at you, my ass, my butt. Okay. The dog didn't come at you viciously. She came at you playfully, but not viciously. You know, you think you know somebody. And they say, oh, I love your child. I love, I love, love, love your child. Great. Do you really? Do you love her enough that you can kick her, her parents to the curb like a piece of trash? Do you really love her? You're going to leave her with a sleep-deprived mom? That has to take care of her. Doubtful. Doubtful. I just, I just think that all that. Pop your vent off, you silly girl. So, anyways, I'm just kind of like upset right now because like I feel like maybe that wasn't the best you know situation to put me in especially when um especially when Carolyn is so you know it's so valuable for her to have a nurse 
you know, to do physical therapy, um, to help me out, to get her rolling in the morning, and, um, you know, to let me sleep, because I don't, in the, in the nighttime, because we don't have a night nurse, if we had a night nurse, that'd be a different story, now see, like, this is the thing, if we had a night nurse, I don't think we would need a day nurse, maybe a day nurse for, like, a couple hours to help me out, and do physical therapy and stuff like that, but, um, like, yesterday, we, me and Carolyn had a really fun day, didn't we? Tell your friends you had a really fun day yesterday. Carolyn had a really fun day yesterday. We played, um, with the puppets that my mom brought, and we played with, um, uh, we did some music, and we watched Blippi, and, you know, we played with our favorite toys, and we did all this stuff. Ouch. We did all this stuff, and we had a really fun time. She took a couple naps, and then we were, then we were done, and we, we you know, she went to sleep. She was really tired at the end of the day, because I wore her out, but we did physical therapy, and we were, we had a really happy day. So, I'm fine doing her during the day. It's the nighttime that is a little hard for me because I get tired. Um, and I, I want to be able to spend time with my child. And if I'm up all night, I sleep till one and, you know, I get tired. So, today I am staying up till eight. My mom, my mother-in-law is coming to help me out during the day so I can sleep and run some errands. Um, Trent will be getting up at 8 o'clock. She will be getting here at 8.30. When Trent gets up, I will be going to go get Trent, uh, Carolyn's formula. And then um, I'll be going and getting some rocks for our yard because apparently Shiva, I saw her last night get under the fence that we spent money on. Don't know how that happened, but it did. So, um, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, I found out that she can get under the fence, which is not a good thing.